Many cities in China have a Zhongshan Street or a Zhongshan Park. These are named in memory of Dr. Sun Yat-sen, the great pioneer of China's democratic revolution. In 1911, Dr. Sun Yat-sen led the revolution that ended more than 2,000 years of feudal monarchy in China. His thoughts and his actions have changed China as a whole. And now I invite you to come with me into this great man's hometown to explore his historical footprints. Let's go. Zhongshan, Zhongshan. Trey Hung Village, right here in Zhongshan City in the province of Guangdong, was built during the Kangxi period in the Qing Dynasty. It's located right between the mountains and the sea, and here it retains the most traditional houses, yards, flowers, trees, and the farming ancient civilization in China. And it was also in 1866, right here, that Dr. Sun Yat-sen was born. Chuehang Village housed not only Dr. Sun Yat-sen, but also a group of outstanding revolutionaries and idealists, such as Lu Haodong and Yang Yin. This building right here is the former residence of Dr. Sun Yat-sen, it was built in 1892. It combines Western and Chinese style architectures, and it has bricks and wood as its main structure. The building was funded by Sun Mei, Sun Yat-sen's oldest brother. Sun Yat-sen, who was studying at the Hong Kong Academy of Western Medicine, was responsible for the design and the construction. From 1892 to 1895, Sun Yat-sen often returned home to spend time here. At the age of 13, Dr. Sun Yat-sen moved to Hawaii to join his older brother Sun Mei to study in the Western education system. In 1883, he came back from Honolulu and brought the seeds of this beautiful tamarind tree that was planted by him right here in the yard of his former residence. Here are the old streets and alleyways of Trey Hung Village. The government has restored some of the old houses from the Qing Dynasty and has turned this area into a three-dimensional reproduction of what the life of the local people from all levels of society used to be like when they lived here. Not far behind Sun Yat-sen's former residence, we have Sun Yat-sen's Memorial Secondary School, which was named the most beautiful middle school in China. It was founded by Sun Yat-sen's oldest son, Sun Ke, in 1934. The current school name was inscribed by Song Ching Ling in 1978. A large number of artists have gathered here in Suihang Village. With the support of the government, they have established an artistic and creation base here in Suihang. They built the Suihang Art Museum, the Dashimen Art Museum, as well as other exhibition halls and also dozens of artistic studios. Today, Suihang Village has become a well-known painter's village, bringing life to this beautiful old village. As a famous historical and cultural village in China, Suihang Village has been transformed into a China's 5A touristic attraction. Now, more than 2.5 million tourists come here to visit every year, which helps drive up 
the industry of tourism here in Zhongshan City. And today I'm here at Sun Yat-sen's residence in the lovely company of the Trey Hung Primary School Student Choir. And we're going to sing our own version of Li Hai In's composition, Woman Da Song Jong Shan. Let's go. Oh, boy. 